Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with the Free Looks One palette and this time it is time for Creepy Cute by Strobe and I will do as I always do in these videos, I will leave time timestamps down in descriptions if you maybe don't want to see all the Free Looks or just a review because yes, it's coming a review in the end of the video. And also you are the ones that decide which palette I should do next so I will leave a voting card up here and you can vote on which palette you think I should do a Free Looks One palette with next time. This time it was so close between this one and the Ferro palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. First the Ferro palette was in the lead and then it was they have the same amount of votes and then I put up on my Instagram stories like I can't film anything because they have equal amount of votes and then somebody voted on this so today when I start this video this was the winner with one vote over Menagerie Cosmetics and I do not know how I feel about this because this palette only has eight shades but I think I know what I want to do I have planned at least two looks so I hope I will get inspired during these looks and it's a little fly in here. It is so freaking warm today. I am so sweaty so I apologize if I look a little bit sweaty. So yeah, I will zoom you in and we can start with a look and this little fly. I don't know where we went. So I will just hop in to the first look. So for the first look I will do a halo eye and I think I only will use two colors in this look and I will start with take a hint this green one and put it in my crease. And this palette is like the only true pastel palette I have. I don't think there is so many pastel palettes out there but I don't need any more pastels. Because do you see this? This is freaking amazing. I really really love these colors. I don't think I've done so much videos with this palette. I did it first impression but I think I had my channel in Swedish then. And then I did a palette bingo with this and Divinity from Strobe. So I can leave it up here. I can leave my Swedish video in the description if you want to see it. Because the most of you are actually from the US now. So yeah, I... You can't understand what I'm saying, so... Okay, and for this halo I will of course use Void and Take a Hint. Because I think, I think that these two will go so good together. So Void is the black one. When I do halo eyes with black shadows, I like all the time use the same shadow, which is from Linda Holberg. So when I'm doing a halo with another black shadow, I'm a little bit scared because what if I fuck it up? But my tip if you want to do a black have black within your halo just build it up because if you go in with like super black at once the chance of it getting not good is pretty high and that is the rule with all like dark eyeshadows I think I actually got that light from Linda Holberg he has a blog and a YouTube channel but she's a makeup artist if you didn't know that and one thing I learned from her is if you're using dark colors you can always make them deeper you can always put on more but it's very hard to make it less it wasn't until this year I start to really like black eyeshadows And this is a good black. I think that black shadows always should be buildable. I don't like this like super dark black shadows or like this super pigmented. 
because if you screw up you have screwed up for life <laughs> maybe life but for that makeup I just want to go in with a take a hint in here a little bit more okay and then I will go in with a take a hint in the halo and I will not cut this halo because I believe in this shade that is powerful on its own and it is okay. and this was one thing I was a little bit nervous about because I wanted to layer them super good but I don't want the black to take over so I think I will tap off the brush with take a hint there was a lot of pigments in this a lot and try to work this in to the black and not the black into this did that make any sense at all okay what do we think about this I I am not super happy with the black in here so I will take some of the tip of this and just my back <sighs> this is like the worst thing to get older my body is so freaking stiff it sounded like I was super old but something happens when you turn 30 I can just say like this, I am not like when I was 21 anymore. So if you are around your 20s, um, just enjoy life. That's all I have to say for you. But turning 30 wasn't the end of the world, but... Something happens. Okay, I, I think we have something here. I just want it to be... I take the brush where I have the black and just take it in a little bit more up here. And then go over with my crease brush just to try to blend it a little bit. But not my crease, that will mean. Okay, I actually think this turned out pretty cool. Even though it doesn't feel like they are so good blended together. I'm like, how can I not be better at Halo Eyes at this point? Okay, I think we just have to leave it like this. I think I'm pretty satisfied. I wanted like a pretty big Halo because I really want the green to be the center of attention in this look. So I will fix the other eye off cam. I will fix my base and my brows and then I will be back and we do something to my under eyes and also something to my lips so yeah I will soon be back. So the face is on and for blush I actually used strawberry milk. Betty Jean does it all the time and I understand why she does it because it is amazing. So I will do my under eyes and I We'll go in with both Void and Take a Hint, but I will start with Take a Hint and take it all the way and really smoke it out. And then I will go in with Void, the black one, and put it where the black one is. So I have a hair on my lip. So I have a halo underneath my eyes as well. And when I did my base, I forgot to set my foundation with powder I think it went pretty good <laughs> either way and I have no idea what I want to take for lipstick for this look um, I have no idea right now but I think maybe something a little bit more neutral okay I think something like this with the green one and then I will go in with black one and I will take the same brush. Take a super little amount. And I don't want it to be that dark. I say with black shadow, but I don't want to be like super intense black. Okay, so I think I I dig this look. I will color swift this a little bit. The brush and take take a hint 
and pop it in my inner corner just like this. Okay, I, I am like in love with this look if I'm going to be honest and I'm going to be honest. I will put something in my waterline and I will take this one. This is Electric Daisy from Colourpop. Okay, and then I will put on some lipstick and mascara and I do I want to take a crazy color. Do I want to take a red maybe? Maybe like a super bright red. I will see, I will fix the rest and then I come back and we see how this last, this last, this first look will be. See, be. Okay, I didn't go all red. I took I'm Shook from Jeffree Star and many MUA's collab. I really like this lip color or this liquid lip. So this is the first look with a strobe cosmetic creepy cute and I only used these two colors. I love this look. I think it is so vibrant and like a little poisonous. <laughs> like you said, like you said. Like in the villain, like a Disney villain or something. I really love this look. I am so pleased with this. So we will see how the other two looks will be. So if you want to see the other two looks, just keep on watching. So it's time for the second look with the creepy cute. And what do you think about this? I just washed my hair and put it up to just have it out of the way. And then sometimes it gets like this. So we just hop into the second look with the creepy cute. Okay, so I want to do something that I'm not completely sure if it will work, but I will take Thumbstone. One of you told me how this is pronounced. I'm sorry, I can't remember. Okay, I maybe changed my mind. I think I will take strawberry milk first and put it in my crease. I really... First I was like, why did I put this for like an option for my next Free Looks One palette? Because then I saw it was in the lead and I was like, fudge. But then Menagerie, the fair palette, was in the lead and I was like, whew. But then this came up in the lead again and I was like, fudge again. But now when I have done the first look and figured out what I wanted to do in this and I think I know what I want to do in the third it feels so much better and I don't like plan the look exactly it's more like I know what I think I maybe want to do or like have a little idea maybe not sure about the placement and the colors but like a start for it and then I'm going in with thumbstone and take a smaller pointer <laughs> this is not small but it's more pointer and put it in my crease as well and in my first look I used this strawberry milk as a blush and oh my god, I loved it. I know why Betty Jean always talks about it. Because it was amazing as a blush. And I think I maybe want to use it as a blush for all the, all, all the looks. Okay, is this good? I think so. Then I will continuing with the grey. And put it out here and a little bit further in I know that I always say that I don't like grey but I actually I don't have anything against grey but I just think it's boring it doesn't feel like there can be so many different greys it feels like grey is grey I know that it can be different undertones, but for me it's just, it's just always grey. And then I will take Planchetta, is it called that, 
And I'm thinking about cutting my crease, but I think I will not do it. So I will take this purple one and put it in here. And I really hope that this... Maybe I should cut it. But how does it look when it's cut? Because I want a sharp edge like here. But then blend them together. Okay, I will not do it. I like that I decide when I already put on the shadow. It's a little bit late to change my mind. I think it's pretty okay. Maybe nothing super special. But I wanted that when I got this for doing my Free Looks 1 palette and also when I wrote it down as a suggestion or like you to vote for it I didn't want to do like the obvious things like super bright and fun makeup I don't know if it is exactly what I imagine but I actually think I like this I would just take the brush that I had in my crease with the grey just to smudge it a little here I will take away the fallout, fix my base, and then I will be back and we do the under eyes. And I want to do almost the same on my under eyes, but not exactly the same. So I will fix my base and then I will come back and we finished up this look. So for my under eyes, I will start with the gray one. And I use strawberry milk as uh, my blush this look as well and for my highlight I actually took one shade from the Divinity Hather I don't like the names in this and that one and I think I need to try that more to use like eyeshadows as highlighters And eyeshadows as blushes. I will go in with this blue one, cold shoulder, and put it in my inner corner and also down here. And I hope that this brush will be good for this. How would this was maybe a good choice? So I will do the same here. Something like that, I think. I think that was a good choice. So I will put something in my waterline. I think I will take something pastel purple or something really, really blue. Maybe something really, really blue. I will check what I have, put on lipstick, mascara, and then I will come back and we... I will show you the finished second look. So this is the finished second look for my wash line. I took Crybaby from Colourpop and for my lips I took November. It's an ultra setting lip also from Colourpop and I I like this look as well. I think the blue made it more fun. Um, yeah, it's colourful but like not too colourful. I like it even though it's a lot of grey. So. That was my second look with the Creepy Cute and I used this pink one, the grey one, the purple one and the blue one. So it's only one look to go so if you want to see my third, the magnet is crazy strong. Uh, if you want to see my third look just keep on watching and if you want to see my review also keep on watching. So it is time for the third look with a Creepy Cute palette and for this look I want to do two different eyes. So I will use three shades on this eye and three other shades on this eye because this palette is so fun and so unique so I wanted to do something more fun. So we can start with my... Okay, which eye do I want to do what on? So on one eye I'm going to use strawberry milk, take a hint and third eye and on the other eye I'm going to use cold shoulder, creepy drill and planchetta. I just have to decide which eye but I think I, on this eye I will do these three colors here. So I will start with strawberry milk and take it in my whole crease. 
I have no idea how this is going to work. But I really hope it will go good. So I start with this strawberry milk in my whole crease, as I just said. And I have to do one eye at a time because I'm using the same brush for each eye. And I'm using three of the Linda Holberg's 303. These are small blending and packing brushes, so I really love them. So I will start on the other edge. What do I? Okay, I'm going to take third eye out here. And these are really pastely, but pastely. But I think they show up. And they are buildable like that. And for the middle part, I will go in with take a hint this green one. I really love this shade. And I think this is the one that I have used the most. It has the largest dent in it. And I just want to put it here in the middle. Okay, maybe this turns out like shit. Think like that, and then I will take strawberry milk and put it in the inner corner. Okay, and I really hope that this will look good. Maybe it is a little bit. I like don't know how visible this <laughs> these shadows are. I can see them, but I don't know how it is for you. I will go in with, take a hint, the green one. A little bit more and try to blend it a little bit. I think I am okay with this. I don't know how much you can see. Because it's very light, but at the same time I think it's... Pretty cool. I will just take the brush where I took, take a hint and try to smudge it. I don't want to smudge it too much because I don't want them to get blurry or anything or lose their pop. It feels like this is a candy or something. Okay, and then for my other eye I want to take these three colors and I don't really know which one I should put in my crease but I think I will take creepy drill and I really hope that this was the right choice because now I'm doing this and this is something that I really like to do two different eyes but I don't do it that much and I don't really know why Maybe I should close the window because I think it's stormy and rainy outside now. Okay, and then I will start with planchetta and take this on my outer corner. I'm not really sure about this either. But in my last look I had this in my inner corner so I didn't want it in my inner corner this time in this makeup as well and then I take creep it real and have it in the middle I think okay I need, I need to swatch again so cold shoulder and creep it real which one yeah I take creep it real and put this in the middle of my eye and as you see with this it's really Getting like it's true color on the lid. And then the last one is cold shoulder. And I put this in my inner corner. Maybe I should have taken the pink one in the middle. Yeah, the purple one. Because these two are pretty alike. We just have to go with the flow. Take 
I will just intensify these. It's hard to use the same brush for everything, but it's the br br it's the best brush. It's the best brush I have for this. Okay, so I think something like this, and this maybe looks. Maybe it's not as I expected it to be, but I think it's pretty fun look. It's something different and it looks like two candies on my eyes. So I will take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows and then we will do the under eyes and then we are finished with this third look in my Felix One palette with the Creepy Cute palette. Okay, so the face is on and for my blush I took Strawberry Milk. I love that as blush. Now when I see it, this eye is much more vibrant and strong. It's the Creepy Drill shade that really pops, but it is what it is. So for my lower lash, I will do the exact same that I have on my eyes. So I will start with this eye so I don't have to clean the brushes again. So I think I will try to take the same brushes. Maybe I already did say that. So start with the purple and I only take on the top and then tap it off and then we just try to see okay so I didn't drag them down so far I hope you can see them though here I this cat hair so I would just do the exact same on the other eye, but with the colors that I have on the other eye, of course. So for my wash line, I will take Electric Daisy in this eye from Colourpop and Zulu in this eye from also Colourpop. Because I wanted, on this side, I think the green is most standing out, so I want green in waterline and this, this is some kind of the same. I hope. I think that this was a good choice. So I will put on some mascara and try to choose a lipstick for this and then I will be back with the third final look. Maybe I should have closed the window but it is what it is. So this is the finished look for my lips. I took NYX Liquid Suede in Soft Spoken. This is one of my old time favorites. I didn't want to take something that took over from the eyes and yeah this is my third and last look with the creepy cute palette this is a super light look I think this eye it's it is much better than this this is like more beaming but I think it's a pretty fun look and I wanted to do something fun because this palette is so fun and okay I have to close the window because we can't listen to this So I think, oh my foot, I think we just hop into the review part of this palette. So this palette is, as, uh, as you have seen, is an 8 pan pastel palette. It has two colors that are not pastel and this is, I think it's cruelty free and vegan. They always have cruelty free and vegan products. The palette, I like that it has a mirror. The only thing, and I know that more than me, the magnet on this is so hard. It's like almost too hard. It is not like that in their other palette, but in this it is. In this it is. So what do I think about this palette? I love this palette. This is one of the most unique and most fun palettes I have. The shadows are so incredible creamy. It feels like they are almost like buttery. It's, it is three shades that is not like that and that is Thumbstone the grey one, the black one void and strawberry milk this pink one. The other one are super super creamy. These other three colors they are good as well. I think the palette has the same good quality all the colors. The only thing I have a little bit iffy about is this creepy drill it is not 
the same color if you blend it it is a little bit more toned down and a little bit more it's not that vibrant but if you pack it on you see here it is so vibrant and I love that all the colors shows up at least at me I am a very fair person but on me all the colors shows they have good pigmentation they are all buildable I really really love that and about fallouts and stuff like that if you wonder these creamy shades they have a good amount of fallout or kick up kick back I don't care it's not a problem for me they fall a little bit when you put them on but if you tap off your brush it will not happen and yeah this strawberry milk is amazing as a blush it's I think it's one of my favorite blushes right now and they sell all these individual as singles so if you want to buy only some of the colors you can do that but I would recommend this this is one of my absolute favorite palettes it is so unique it is so good it is so easy to work with and everything I really 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 love this palette the packaging I think it's so cool the size is perfect it is just a favorite palette of mine I if you want to try pastels buy this one and I think maybe that was all my review parts is almost very always very short but I don't have anything to complain about in this palette I think the color story is good maybe I think they could change and take out the gray shade but it's just me I like the black one in it if there would be any other color than pastel black is a very good choice so I really like the palette I even love the palette and I recommend it it is so good it's amazing 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 so that was all for this video and what was your favorite look I think look number one was my favorite I think that was so cool the contrast between the green and the black the second look it was pretty boring I would say but I I want to do very different looks in my free looks one palette and this one is completely different from the look before I if I should do this once again I would only do this on both eyes because I think this turned out so much better than this but it was fun to do two different eyes I have missed to do that so yeah please tell me which look was your favorite and don't forget to vote on which palette I should do in the next free looks one palette it will be a card up here it was in the beginning of this video so please help me vote which palette you want to see next so yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!